so we covered uh, uh, till verifying this uh, expression uh, I mean verifying this uh, particular option the transaction options right so now uh, we have uh, now here I have provided the hard code uh, input okay uh, to check uh, to check our test case but in real time so this will be the deposit will be one test case and withdrawal will be uh, another test case and a split will, uh, deposit will be uh, the other test case okay there will be three test case we need to write for this okay in order to uh, give the result so here we have only one so how to add test data to test uh, all these three together it's very simple and uh, so uh, I have a uh, test data so go uh, go to uh, project panel uh, I mean the project uh, folder and here you see there is a test data okay and I click on this test data and uh, so this is the this is my test data here I have a transaction options and deposit withdrawal split deposit so I'm going to test you know each option one by one I'm not going to hard code this one okay so here I have a test uh, uh, data and so I'm going back to my uh, studio uh, this this is our flow okay and look at your uh, text explorer uh, panel okay and here you see the any teller uh, transitions any teller uh, transition verified test case so this is our test case and there is nothing apart from that okay and uh, so here we have a test result activity coverage and a descriptor uh, coverage there are three tabs okay and now I'm going to add a test data to this particular uh, test case okay so right click on this and go to add test data okay and click on add test data and here you know you, you will uh, you will have the different uh, source uh, test data source you can uh, get the data from the existing data or you can get through file or you can get through data services and or you can uh, get through uh, orchestrator uh, test data queue uh, or auto generate experiment so in this case i am going to uh, get the source from file and here in the test data i am going to select this test data okay this is my test data and here once you selected and the here you know whatever the test data which is available on your excel that will be displayed here and you click on import the moment you click on import and you will see in the text explorer if you expand this and here there will be three uh, test cases created I mean test data created transaction option deposit and the other transaction option with trouble and the transaction option split deposit so now uh, so we have a three test data three test data but how to pass this test data into here you can go to argument and check there is a new argument automatically created that is the transaction options okay so this is the transaction option here you see the transaction options deposit and withdrawal split report then we can pass this transaction option inside uh, this argument okay this instead of option to select you can pass it so uh, here you now already we have uh, used this option to select and so here I'm going to remove this and I'm passing this transaction option uh, argument here so which will be automatically loaded into option to select okay so now this is done okay now uh, so here in the test data the transaction option first deposit the next uh, test data is withdrawal and next test data is uh, split deposit so here there is a one problem because we have three different uh, data but he, he, while we checking here in this particular place and we have uh, uh, three uh, output right if one output got executed other two you know it will be failed so in the first test case let's see and then the first test case I'm going to execute the first test case right click okay right click on the uh, data okay first transaction and click on run So the moment you click run and it selected deposit and it's validating so here the first step uh, first thing is no it got uh, faulted because here we have listed other you no know, couple of uh, verification uh, activity to verify other uh, options right 
so it's affecting our uh, test results so what we have to do and uh, because we are not created a, uh, in, in in real scenario we used to create a test case for uh, each uh, options but here we are you know combined all the test cases okay i mean now i'm going to use one else if okay one else if and here i'm going to tell a hey, uh, transaction options equal to uh, deposit deposit go and execute this uh, go and verify this options okay and verify and let me know whether it is uh, positive or not and the same time if the transaction uh, else if the transaction uh, option is uh, withdrawal okay with withdrawal then go and execute this particular option okay this one this one and the same like you know add else if and go here and uh, transaction options equal to split deposit okay if it is a split deposit because we combined all three test cases into one test case so that is the reason i have a else if condition now now you see so here i have three test data okay and let me right click here and click on run it's executing and it's clicking on deposit and it's verifying okay so other two test case it won't run see here there is nothing affected here and this one this one is executed successfully past the test case as you can see and here also the under percentage coverage what is this coverage under percentage so if you go here the activity coverage under percentage which means if you click on this show coverage and it will show you and what are the activity executed within that workflow maybe if you are using if else conditions if else statement if it is goes to then statement and the activity coverage it will show lesser than 100 okay that's how it works the activity coverage and here in the descriptor uh, coverage you can see everything so uh, how many pass and how many failed how many test cases has been executed and the test result here you see the verification is passed okay and uh, now i'm going to execute the next one okay uh, let me close this and again i'm going to execute the next one it's a click on withdrawal and it's verifying after clicking on withdrawal whether the both uh, uh, two radio button node got uh, unchecked or not so that is also under percentage it's a successful okay this is also successful and you can see here the withdrawal option this is also and now execute the other one third one split deposit it's a click on split deposit and it's verifying that uh, other option now this case also passed so here i have executed you know each of uh, my test data you know, individually how to execute test data in you know uh, all together it's very simple click on this and right click and click on run okay if you click here and you will see all three okay so here the total test case is total is three and past is three so let's see here mm, uh, in this place i'm going to right click and click on run let's see now it's a second deposit and it's validating the test data and it's a uh, clicked on retrieval and it's validating other two options then it's clicked on split deposit and it's validating other two options now you see and uh, so all three you know executed together under percentage under percentage activity coverage all success the test result also you can see here and uh, the test result is total three and past three there is no failure so next time you know if you are if you want to test the same uh, test case just know one click and it will tell you whether it is you know working or not if it is there is anything mismatch and you can convey the story to uh, your developer and they will taking care of uh, fixing the bug so this is how you need to add a test case uh, so while you know testing your applications